you will have doubts, questions, judgments. Acknowledge them, but don't let them in. It never really gets easier. You just learn how to handle it and how to believe in yourself. That is Peloton instructor Emma Lovewell. Emma teaches cycling, Pilates, dance cardio, and core strength. That's just to name a few. Yes. To millions who subscribe to her pop popular fitness programs. Now she is out with a new book called Live, Learn, Love Well. Lessons from a life of progress, not perfection. Part memoir and part advice. It's filled with personal stories and life lessons. Emma Lovewell joins us first on CBS Mornings. How are you doing this morning? I am <laughs> great. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you for being here. All right, I, so I just rode you yesterday. Oh. Your R&B ride. It is really love it. great. I love starting with vision of love. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, thank you. <laughs> um, you are fearless. Oh, when thank you. You are working, but you say writing this book scared you. Absolutely. Um, I'm totally stepping out of my comfort zone. I think I've always wanted to write a book, but I didn't know when it would happen. And when the opportunity presented itself, I took it. I was like. You know, do it while afraid. I'm just going to do it. Mm -hmm. And here we are. It's been an amazing experience. Two years of working on this. And I'm so happy to announce that it's out today. Okay, so it's been amazing, but it's also been healing for you. Yes. I think it was kind of like going to therapy. It's really like going back and looking at all my life stories, opening up old journals and diaries from when I was a kid, mm -hmm. calling my mom and dad, my brother, and being like, do you remember this story? And he's like, that's not how it happened. It happened <laughs> like this, you know, kind of rehashing all of this huh. family trauma and also, you know, some beautiful moments and getting to relive them and then write them down. Family trauma and a little bit of drama, Emma, because you write in the book, it's very personal for you. It is. Your mom is Chinese, mm -hmm. your dad is white, as you yeah. point out, you grew up mixed race, and just how that affected your life, how you fit in some communities and then not in others. Could you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I think that I grew up in a community that was mostly white, and so I often you know, looked at my mom and thought, why are you so, why are you different? Why are we so different? Why is our household so different? Why are we eating that kind of food? Why are we yes. eating this kind of food? Yes. The other kids don't do this. And I didn't understand her until I got older. And now as an adult, and I've traveled so much, um, I really now see how much my mom has gone through. She mm. created a home in another country, learned a new language. And I look at my mom now, and I think she's an absolute rock star. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We totally should explain that. This, this philosophy of progress, not perfection, which I think we all agree is a Love great, it. yes, it's a great like motto it. right yeah. there. Yeah, I, I'm definitely a perfectionist. I have been. I go through, you know, times, seasons of my life where I've been really focused on being the best, being the best. And even with writing this book, it was is that journey, too, where I'm like, no, I need to make more edits. I can make more. I can make it better. I can make it better. And, you know, I really think just the folk, there's no such thing as perfection, right? So if we get rid of that idea and just enjoy the process, like if we're showing up for ourselves every single day, that's, that's what we want. That's what we want to see for ourselves. You talk about your voice is your power. And it, it, there was a time when you didn't understand that, but you wouldn't even be at Peloton if you hadn't used your voice because you reached out to Peloton directly and said, Hey, yeah, I'm very interested. Yeah. I, to I, John Foley. I sent an email to John Foley. I had met him before. Um, my amazing partner, Dave, encouraged me. He's like, just email the CEO. And yes. I was like, who do you think I am? Yes. I and who emailed, emailed CEO? Yeah, who out emailed the CEO? Who emailed the CEO? Right? <laughs> but I took his advice, which was great advice. I Good advice, him. Dave. Yes. Totally. I slammed my laptop and like did a lap around the apartment because I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's off. <laughs> yes. 20 minutes later, he responded. He said, I'd love to chat. Minutes. 20 minutes. He wow. said, Let's let's get you on a call and let's let's get you in for an audition. And there there you are. And you put a lot of time and effort into your playlist. Your playlists, yes. I think, are some of the most fun things that you do. Thank Tell you. us about your process, because you're a great lip lip syncer, so much so that you give advice on how to do a good lip sync. Yes. I, I grew up always entering the <laughs> lip sync contest, which was, you know, was part of the reason why I think I love performing. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, in my classes, I pick music that inspires me and hope that it will inspire you too. And I feel like if you see me um, being happy and, and having joy and enjoying the process, you're gonna be happy too. You're gonna experience my joy. And so if I'm motivated, I hope that you are motivated too. So every, every week you have a standing date with yourself. I love like yeah. that too. Explain me. exactly what that is and yeah. what you have learned from yes. that. So at Peloton, I would teach a, an evening class. And instead of getting on the road and heading back home, I would decide after class, I'd take myself out to dinner. So I have an <laughs> ongoing list of all these restaurants I want to try. And Man, I city. love that. Yeah. And I go and I sit down at the bar or table for one. It's usually some like noodles. I love ramen noodles Me or too. some Asian dish. 
And I just, yeah, at first it was a little awkward, but I was like, this is for me. I'm dating myself. I love myself. Are you a good is, date? I, <laughs> Are you a good date? Yeah, I, I had to put my phone away. That was the hardest that thing. Is it's it's hard to just, yeah. you want to sit there and just scroll. But no. well, I did that once. I'm very uncomfortable going out by myself because I fear people are looking. God, she did, doesn't have any friends, da, da, da. One time I'm sitting at a restaurant by myself. I'm reading my book and the waiter says, um, excuse me, ma'am, your book is upside down. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a true, that's, that, that, that didn't go so well when I tried to date myself. Well, Gail, I was going to say, other people could go out with that book. Yeah. Yes. That's, That's true. right. Oh, self care. That's true. Self-love. How about the title, Tony? Live, learn, love well. And the author is Emma Lovewell. Yeah. That's right. Thank you guys so much. Well, thank Beautiful. you. We appreciate you. Congrats, Emma. Thank Live, you. Live, learn, love well is out today wherever you'd like to buy your books.